Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we will be spending time at the quarry. But the past version of myself thought this episode was going to start a completely different way. Okay, to make things easier, let's start the episode like this. The last time we were at my base, I built this bridge and I did a whole landscaping project right next to the fountain, you know, to make things look a little nicer. Except right here. I completely ran out of ideas by the time I got to this area. But then I decided it would be fun to build a decorative wall. So I went ahead and moved forward with the idea of doing another decorative episode. Look at her down there. She she thinks she's going to build that wall in this episode. Well, um, it's not going to happen the way she thinks it's going to happen. But in a few moments, Super Santa is about to ask her if she wants to work on the quarry today. And of course, the answer is yes. Duh. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. What is she? What do you what? Do we really need three shucker boxes? What, what, you, what kind of wall are you even building? Now, before we go to the quarry, look at what she's got going on over here. Look at this. This these are the shucker boxes from the last project. She hasn't even picked things up and put them away. So before we head on over to the quarry, we're going to do future or is it past or alternate universe jazz. Uh, we're going to do her a favor and we're going to set up um, an upgraded storage so that she can be a little bit more organized. Here we are in the new storage area. Um, let me go ahead and show you around. Over here, I have things that are kind of like organics, mob drops, uh, iron. And over here, of course, are my leaves. Yes, leaves. <laughs> leaves get their own special place. And then across the way, we have more of like the building blocks, like sand, a blackstone, bricks, um, andesite, and a little workstation over here. And of course, redstone gets its own special area as well. Now, this storage area isn't very large at the moment, and, but you can see how easy this would be to expand um, and create more area for storage. Now, there are three different ways to access this storage area. So let me show you. There's a stairway entry and there's kind of a hint here. See all of the wood that I've used here? That is because one of the ways to get access is under the tree. So you can get access to the inside through the tree. Uh, the second way to access down here is to go through the swamp house. So you can see I have a bubble vader here. And now we are right inside. Those are the chests I had before and on the barrels over there. I had basically no form of storage over here and everything was just getting over overcrowded so okay to get to the storage there's the bubble fader but look i can just boop but the third and final way to get inside of the storage is down a tunnel so this way here there is the storage back there we came down here and now i can actually fly did you see that we'll, we'll look at that in a minute I can fly all the way over here and in case you didn't realize this is actually the access to my secret mine entrance and this is underneath the portal area let me show you where the portal area is if we go through this door secret door and of course this is my main portal and this is how people would arrive to my base it looks really cool when you fly through it but did you notice when we went through there was a glass just the glass roof right there so i am really happy with how this turned out i know it's not much but just as a little bit uh it's gonna keep me a lot more organized 
Now that we got some things sorted here, I think it's time for us to go find Super Santa. All right, now that we've caught up with Santa at the quarry, he tells me that we need to upgrade the shucker loaders in the storage system to make it faster and to build a wall, a massive cobblestone wall for the quarry. Storage in a wall, does, <laughs> does that sound familiar? Um, I think that's called synchronicity because I did not plan this episode this way whatsoever. I had no idea what Santa was doing and he had no idea what I was doing. This is just a coincidence. We have a lot to get done today. We're going to start with storage and then we'll do the wall. Uh, so to start, we need to tear down the old shucker loaders and then we need to build the new system in its place. So let's get started. So you can see this is a much larger uh, collection system shucker box loader than what we had before. Now, the reason we did this is because Santa said that he went into a test world and he realized after a, a lot more testing that this would probably be a better option for us. And we need something that's going to be able to handle a large volume. Now take a look at the before. So here's the before, so it was much smaller. And now here is the after. Yeah, this is clearly a much larger system and I think this is gonna work out really well. I just realized we left alternate universe jazz back, back at the decorative wall build. You think she's okay, right? <laughs> I was so excited to come help Santa that after I finished the storage at the swamp base, I just came straight here. Um, that gets us to the next thing we're going to build. So Santa and I are going to build the massive cobblestone wall. So let's go ahead and get started on that. This wall is massive. Look at this cobblestone wall. I think this is truly the, the biggest cobblestone wall I've ever built in Minecraft. This is huge. Now I've turned on the schematic so you get a better idea of what the quarry looks like in relationship to the wall itself. Now, uh, when Santa was here before, I actually asked him, Santa, why do we even need this wall in the first place? Yeah, so basically, as the quarry moves forward, it tries to push all the blocks in front of it one block forward. This will create a 12-block shield right in front of the quarry. 
And this shield is very important because that's what removes all the liquids in front of the quarry and keeps it from breaking. In our case, there's a lot of water in front of the quarry right at the start. And during the testing of the quarry, there'd be times where the black shield didn't completely form, causing some issues. So building this cobblestone wall just helps the quarry create that shield a little bit faster. Thank you, Santa. And now might be a perfect time for you to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out when we build the quarry and run it for the very first time. But for now, it's time for us to head back to the swamp and check on the alternate universe version of myself. Let's go look over here. Is she in here? Jazz. Hello? Jazz. Uh, hello? Maybe over by the bridge. Excuse me. Uh, have, you see, have you seen an alternate version of me running around here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, that's a weird question. Okay, thank you, thank you for your time. <laughs> Not under the bridge. Why did I think she'd be under the bridge? I don't know. Okay, I don't mean to be concerning, but I, I can't find alternate universe jazz anywhere. Um, <laughs> I'm sure everything's going to be fine. But you know what? I'm pretty sure I can see where she was going with this wall design. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it for her. So let's go ahead and jump into this time lapse and let's finish this wall. moment just to uh, appreciate the fact that I landed directly on top of the fountain but nobody saw it happen so <laughs> this wasn't recorded. <laughs> All right it's time to pick things up and put things away now that I have a better storage system uh, out over in my swamp house <laughs> and the storage system at the quarry is ready to go as well as the massive cobblestone wall. This was an extremely productive episode we got a lot done. Ooh, look at the wall from here. <laughs> That's nice. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will catch you next time.